Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the learning outcomes for mathematics and it is for primary classes. Kindly subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button for this one and don't forget to tap the bell icon. The general topics taught in primary classes are shapes, angles, numbers, measurement. In measurement category, we are learning length, mass, volume, area, perimeter, money, and time, data handling, and patterns. These are the general topics mostly taught in primary classes from standard 1 to 5 in mathematics. As you know, that we have to find out the learning outcomes for each one topic. First, let us split the learning outcomes at the end of class 3 and at the end of class 5. First of all, we will learn at the end of class 3 what children learn. They learn first count numbers up to 3 digits, understand the number system, then represent numbers by using best 10 system that means they can find out the place value as tens and ones and hundreds able to compute three digit numbers all the three digit numbers from 1 to 999 or we can say it is thousand they can count it they can perform the four basic four operations up to three digit numbers such as addition subtraction multiplication division like this then learn words to understand space and special objects. Then the children understand patterns of shapes and numbers. They can forward it, they can repeat it by using the shapes as well as the numbers. They can perform the data handling. Suppose when data has been given, they can find out, they can estimate and they can calculate. Then estimate and measure short lengths using non-uniform as well as correct units. There's non-uniform units such as uh, hand spans, fingers like this, feet like this. But uh, the correct units such as kilogram, gram and uh, liter like this. So after that we will learn the curricular expectations at the end of class 5. Learning outcomes at the end of class 5 are as follows. Children understand similarities and differences among shapes such as just now you have to take out one circle or one rectangle or a square they have to find out the similarities between the square and the rectangle and they have to find out the differences between the same shapes just like triangle and how it is the, the shape of the triangle, the shape of the rectangle, the shape of the circle everything they have to find out. Next, uh, they have to perform basic four operations in his or her own way. They will find out here the teacher has to instruct only but they have to find out the different ways to calculate or operate the four basic operations. Next, they have to use language and symbolic notations while performing operations. Suppose you have to add something then they have to use the addition symbol, subtraction symbol, equal symbol, greater than symbol and uh, um, minus symbol, subtraction symbol, multiplication, division symbol like this. Compute operations on two or more numbers. They can compute uh, not only on two numbers only, they can find out uh, the addition of four to five numbers, the subtraction of two numbers. They can find out the, sim they can simplify numbers also with the Bodmas rule. Next, learn fractions and their types. They're here in class four and five, they are learning the fractions as a part of the whole and the types also such as uh, like fractions, unlike fractions, uh, uh, your proper fraction and improper fractions. Children can perform the data handling in day to day life. Children are meeting with various problems. They can find out, sort out the problems, they can uh, organize them, they can interpret them and they can find the solution also. They can perform the activities with simple patterns in shapes and numbers. They can connect day life, their daily life with the mathematics. As you know, mathematics, without mathematics, life is totally monotonous and they can make a link, make a relation between the daily life 
and the mathematics. This is all for today. You can comment your queries and suggestions in the comment box. We can interact with each other and we can solve our problems. Thank you for watching. But don't forget to subscribe the channel. You can be notified with various activities. Thank you.